everyone. So I'm here today with an unboxing video for the Hero Arts August 2018 coffee and tea themed card kit and all add-on products. So like I have for the past few months, I loved all the add-ons that go along with the kit so much that I went ahead and bought them and I thought I'd share them here with you in this unboxing video. But before we get to the add-ons, let's take a look at the items in the main kit. Starting with um, this really pretty coffee colored ribbon that wraps up all the items in the kit and then this six by eight clear stamp set that has a whole bunch of little coffee and tea mugs and some dollops of whipped cream and 11 dies to go along with it with the coffee cups and the lids and the dollops of whipped cream and then um, we also get a frame die that I'll show you a little bit more in detail in a second and then this clear glaze lacquer pen, some white puff embossing powder that would be great for making dollops of whipped cream on top of the cards, and then this coffee and tea hand dyed paper, which is really pretty and I'm excited to use. It kind of feels like tissue paper. Here I'm just showing you the backing that came with the kit. Um, I really like the froth and the little coffee cup with the um, little heart in the middle. I think it'd be nice for a background to um, a card perhaps. And now I'm just showing you um, which stamps have accompanying dies so that when you're planning out your cards, you can um, kind of figure out like which ones will have dies so they'll be easier to kind of move and manipulate around your cards so you don't have to worry about masking. And now let's take a look at the frame die. The frame die is so cute. It's a little cafe. Um, and here I'm just putting the cutout image on top of some bright paper so you can get a better sense of what's included. So there's a cute little menu board up in the left hand corner, some little cafe tables um, towards the bottom, and then a little hanging plant on the right side. Now I'm just going to put the dies away. I like to store my dies on magnetic sheets of paper um, and then I store them in a plastic folder and then put everything in the kit together and kind of tuck it away in a gallon sized plastic freezer bag until I'm ready to use them to make some cards. So let's take one last look at the main kit before we move on to the add-ons. Here are all the add-ons. Um, they come all together in one big giant package. There were a lot of add-ons this month. Usually there's about 11. This month there were 14. Um, so let's take a look at them. First we have a cocoa colored liquid watercolor. For the past few months, Hero Arts has been releasing a new watercolor with um, each kit. And this month's is this pretty coffee or cocoa colored watercolor. Here I'm just um, putting a drop on a piece of Can Canon or Canton watercolor paper. And then I'm just using my water brush to um, kind of show you the range of colors that you can get from this one bottle of watercolor. So it'd be cute. I think you could use it to make some coffee stains on your paper. Usually we don't like coffee stains on our cards, but um, I guess if you do it intentionally, then it's okay. <laughs> and I think that that would probably be a good use of that watercolor. Um, here is the Mocha Maiden wooden block stamp that comes with the kit. I'm just giving you a sense of what the dimensions are. I think it's about four and a quarter by three and an eighth inch inches. So it's a pretty big stamp. It'll probably take up most of a card. Um, this here is the Kitty mini stamp and die cut set. It's really cute. There's a little kitten in a teacup with some really cute sayings. This next stamp set is one of three large stamp sets um, and die sets that, that comes with the kit. This is probably my favorite one. This is the tea time set. And what I love about that is that you can make a nice little platter of afternoon tea and use that um, as the focal image on your card. This is called the Spill the Tea stamp set and it also comes with um, an accompanying die set. And then finally, this is the Foam Animals um, tea set. And it looks like they're a little kitty, a little bear, and I don't know what that is in the upper right hand corner. Is it a gerbil, a hamster? I'm not sure. If anyone knows what that, that little animal is, let me know in the comments. Um, here is a frame die that comes with the kit. This is also a little um, cafe frame die 
kind of similar to the one in the main kit. I actually think I prefer the frame die in the main kit um, to this one, but I'm sure we'll find a use for it in our 10 cards one kit series that will come after this unboxing video. So I'm just, you know, giving you a sense of what that looks like. Um, and then there are two infinity die sets that come with the kit this month. I think that these were already existing. I don't think these are new products. Um, it's a teacup and then a little tea kettle and there are all different sizes. Kind of reminds me of like the little Russian dolls. Like you open up one and there's a little one inside it and, and then another inside it, inside inside again and again. Um, I think that it would be really cool to um, cut the little teacups and the teapot out of like different colored floral and plaid pattern papers and kind of mix and match them to make a card. I think that'd be cute. And here I'm just showing you the two large um, stamps that come with the kit. One had a, a bunch of floral images and then the other had more of a geometrical design. Um, here is a card that I made using the frame die in the kit and then I matched it with another stamp set that I had in my stash that we'll talk about in a second. Here it is. It's a little stamp set by a company called Not Too Shabby and it's called Let's Do Coffee. And it just, you know, I bought this maybe a few months ago and I haven't used it yet, but it's on my list of things to use. And when I saw this frame die, I was like, you know what? I bet that counter would fit perfectly behind the frame die in the kit. And it did. So the little counter is about um, three inches or like two and three quarters of an inch by one and a quarter inch. Um, so it fit perfectly. And I just included the little girl that is in the not too shabby stamp set. And then a couple of the other images there to make a little coffee shop interior um, to go along with the frame die. And then I put some plastic, some acetate over the window. So it looks like an actual window. Now, if you wanna mimic this and you don't have this stamp set, there are a lot of things you can do. You can just take um, a piece of brown cardstock and cut it by two and three quarters by one and a quarter inch. Um, or you could take a piece of white paper and do what I did here and kind of make a little wood grain by using different brown and tan markers and just flicking your pen up and down the page so it leaves a streaky effect. And then you could use, you know, any any little image, any little critter that you have that would fit behind the counter. And I think, you know, there are a lot of um, little critters in the Lawn Fawn series that I think would fit nice here. There's a little polar bear from last winter's release that I think you could stick behind a, a little counter and that would be cute. And I challenge you to go look in your stamp sets at home and see what little what little critters you might have that would fit to give you a cute little cafe, like an interior cafe to go along with this, this frame die. I'm sure that you guys can come up with some great things and I'd love to see them. So I am done for now. I will be back next weekend with some more cards from this kit. Um, I'm sorry I haven't been posting as often as I usually do. I'm in the middle of uh, a job change and moving to another state, so it's kind of exciting but I don't have a lot of free time and I'm only home for, you know, one or two days a week. So I try to do what I can when I'm home and hopefully before the holidays, I'll be more settled and then I can get back to a regular schedule in time for the Christmas season. So have a great weekend, everyone. Um, have a great time with your kids and I will see you again next weekend.